Unbelievable, my lovely, wonderful people. One of the governorship candidates in the just concluded a look a do governorship election. We saw Senator Monday um, you know, crowned as the go uh, governor elect of Edo State has said has given very, very, you know, um shocking evidences on why he will not bother to contest the Edo's governorship election in court, even if he feels, you know, that the election results may not be as he has thought so this is what is happening right now and um he said i will not go to tribunal he said because to be a proper waste of my money and he gave evidences why he will not do that and you'll be shocked by the level of evidence this guy is releasing in terms of what why he is doing what he's doing as everybody begins to watch on very carefully and see you know some of the prognosis Okay, I don't go medical terms now of why things are the way they are. Yes, if you know that, <laughs> is it, I'm telling you, he was once the chairman of the NBA, Nigerian Bar Association. So if he's not going to court and he has reasons to back that, although he feels that mm -hmm. there was manipulation, mm -hmm. you should be very consigned. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Olumide Akpata gives very strong reasons why he will not go to court, but clearly stands on the ground that those elections were manipulated. According to the report from the Vanguard in a significant announcement regarding the recent Edo governorship election, Olumide Akpata, the Labour Party candidate, has clarified his decision of not challenging the election results in court. Akbata, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, finished third in the election, gaining 22,763 votes. The election was held on September the 21st, saw Senator Monde Akbata of the All Progressive Congress declared the winner with, 20, with 200 and 91,667 votes. Why as Igodalo of the People Democratic Party received 247,246 votes. In a statement released on Sunday, Saturday, Olomide emphasized the gravity of his decision, stating, today as the statutory window of the of the petition at the for the election tribunal closes. We stand as a pivotal junction in a do state, the Nigerian democracy journey. He further elaborated that his choice was the result of extensive deliberations with the legal team and key stakeholders. Lumide Akbata articulated that his decision was not a surrender to injustice, but rather to re to resolve to resolve stand against a flair, a flair system. He expressed his intention to avoid the legal, prolonged legal battle that can often legitimate a compromised electoral process, stating, I commit myself to the truth. Nevertheless, the tax remains in a faulty system already. If I go ahead and I fight this battle, knowing fully well that the Endo's election was compromised, INEC and others did not do their due diligence and stood against justice for the nation how will i reconcile, reconcile with all of this it's going to be a legal battle that the system is ready to fight against you for he continued our fight against illegality for transparency will continue in the courtroom but i'm not ready for that battle our democracy still have another day to go and we are watching very carefully we will continue to fight for the true democracy and the real explanation of what democracy means to Nigeria will be gotten in no distance time. As an, as an experienced legal practitioner, mm -hmm. Apata understands the decision he's making and made it, all, made it as, uh, uh, crystal clear that he will not allow himself to be dragged into a system he knows fully well, will not generate the desired result and wasting his time, effort, money and all that. He said it is time that we do all that is necessary to change the course of what is going on. I will not allow myself to be dragged into all of this. We know the truth. The elections were flawed, but I will leave it at that. So Lumide Akbata is 
Olumide Akbata is actually, uh, you know, um, is actually speaking out, okay? Uh, he's actually speaking out, you know, and uh, nevertheless, we'll continue to hope for the best, okay? And uh, the truth of it is, we we need to sincerely speak out and ensure that the truth is manifested every time or any time okay there is need for the change and we do not speak out as we should you'll be surprised what follows every one of us knows that nigeria has become a place where the judiciary system has seriously been compromised so people do not really have that rest assurance hope on the system and instead of trusting a system that could potentially give them you know a footway and ensure for truth it feels very strongly that these people are not even ready to get any form of relief and ensure that truth is reflected so we all have a duty to ensure that we do not speak out we do not leave ourselves in a very dairy position but we do everything humanly speaking possible to avert the current you know uh you know things that are going on so that they can really be, you know, they can truly really be, uh, you know, a, a, a better, you know, a better opportunity for us as a nation. How can people not even have trust in the system? How can people begin to, you know, fight against a very system that should be what, you know, people should be happy about and say, you know what, if this is what it is, then let's, let's, let's get it on. However, we do not have any of that. People are worried. In fact, Obaseki spoke and you know, cried out on his frustration on the legal system we currently have. It is terrible. It's terrible. The legal system we currently have is not is not reflective of what the legal system should really be. So people are worried, people are consigned. Okay? People are consigned on you know on on how or, or how we got to this point really. People are really consigned. So it is what it is. Anyway, my lovely people, don't forget, we all need an urgent, you know, overhauling of the system to ensure that mm -hmm. things are different and that we can truly move forward and make all necessary progress to bring us into the right place. The days upon us are so critical, it's so important that we cannot afford, you know, to have the same thing over and over again. We need a real change in this nation and we need everybody to be on board. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.